Hello, welcome to the Smart Excel, and this video is about the data grouping. So, what is the purpose of grouping? Is this all about? So, now let me show you the list. It's a workbook, and this list you have a main category and a subcategory. Suppose this is a very big list and consists of more than 100 categories, and you have to scroll down and check categories or you can do is collectively you can make this into data and advanced filter but instead of going and doing all the stuff you don't you want to see the data in a clean manner so that you can see what is the main categories so you can see in this way you can so you can have the list and you can drag and drop down to know what are the lists going beyond this so if you want you can in this you can just click a button you get all and you can get all opened and you can get all closed also so this is the purpose so it makes you more easy and comfortable in doing the things so i have the data in this field over here so the same thing will be happening we can do it to get this sheet in, in this manner so <clears throat> I always suggest to you if you want to have something, just copy this in the beginning and control C and just paste this just for the one requirement, just make this in this way. So it's going to be helpful. So if you just go and select this whole run range or whole database, and if you want to do grouping, if you do want to do a grouping, you can select this. If you do auto line, there is you cannot create auto line. So if you want to do a group or row wise, so you can see you can see it's not helping you out. It is not in the manner which we have seen over here. So let's remove that. So that's this can be done something in called as uh, subtotals. But the problem in subtotal is we don't have any. Uh, any numerical values to count or something like that sum but we can still do if you subtotal if you want we can do manually you can put ones <clears throat> all ones and zeros and do a subtotal but for the easy method is just select the database go to subtotals then you see that the list of contents in column values are required for this command you can say okay and now here is like count i can't use the row sum so i don't have so i can use a count function so it's calculating baby stuff as the first in the column c it will count the column c's and you can just remove this replace because we don't have any current subtotals and you can summary below data is not required so we should we don't want summary below data we want summary above the data so and just here to hear all the fields empty over here and just we can do is ok now we have a little bit of homework in this area so you can see this is a grand grand total and columns you can just expand and you can see count so what i request is just control h and count and replace it none so we have to replace all the counts even the grand is not required you can just delete this and after that you can select the area and when you select this if you delete this all the data will be gone if you try to delete in one shot you can see everything has gone so avoid doing that i'll make a control z you can see the data is still there okay so now the best thing you can do is go to home select go to special visible cells only and now we can delete this and you can add this column in the visible cell just use control c you can select this go to special visible cells only and paste it so you can see that please click on the mark on the left side so it's giving an indication that if you want to scroll down, you have to 
go and check in the, in the left side. Now, this baby stuff, if you want, you can keep this, or if you don't want, you can remove this also. So, this is the way we have done the we have done a database table which we can see you can we can click down and here you can see within a fraction of seconds you can have this so this will be very useful if you are having multiple records and all this stuff and it will be very easy if you can you know what are the things you require so i find this video is going to be hopeful and uh, sorry hope useful and i hope this uh you can just share this video because i was doing something and i just came to know that let's do in a specific way because i was trying to do grouping but unfortunately grouping was not supporting so i thought away some something figured out a way in subtotals so i hope this video will be useful if you if you can and if you want if you can remove this also if you don't want to highlight this but it's better you know if people come to know what's what's there and uh, what all things can be done so please share subscribe to my channel please hit the like button please encourage by giving your comments and please share this video so many people can understand the benefits of excel without wasting time and energy on this I hope to see you in the next video so until then keep following and please study this please do practice and uh, if you have any issues please give me your comments thank you for watching